You're listening to the American Democracy Minute, keeping your government buy-in for the people. We're starting a series explaining dark money, starting with charitable and social welfare 501c3 groups. Most of these groups do great work and don't engage in any sketchy political activity. But the tax code has been exploited by political operatives to keep you from seeing who is influencing elections. Section 501c3 of the Internal Revenue Code defines these groups. It includes 501c3 religious, charitable, or educational groups which can't take positions on candidates. But while politics can't be the primary activity for 501c4 social welfare groups, the rules allow up to 49.9% to be political. That also applies to 501c5 trade unions and 501c6 trade associations. None of these groups are federally required to disclose who contributes to them, and worse, the IRS has virtually stopped enforcing the rules, so abuse goes largely unchecked. In particular, the 501c4s have been exploited to take in and spend huge donations from anonymous donors, often used on negative television ads. Technically, 501c4 groups can back candidates, but lately more of their dark money has been funneled to political action committees and super PACs, which only have to disclose a name like Americans for Sweetness and Like and keep you in the dark. We have detailed explainers and resources at AmericanDemocracyMinute.org. I'm Brian Beal.